back to Primetime News and a special welcome to folks on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first, normalcy has been restored along Stennett Street in Port Maria, St. Mary, following a protest on Friday. Residents blocked the road after a police shooting left a motorist in hospital. As Sandy Williams reports, the Independent Commission of Investigations is probing the matter. This was the scene mere meters away from the Port Maria Hospital in St. Mary Friday morning. Lit debris blocking vehicular traffic on either sides of the roadway. It's the result of a demonstration by residents following a police shooting moments before. It's understood that members of the Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch PSTEP in Kingston were conducting an operation when the incident unfolded. In Ilo, go and shoot the man. Two them want him key and him decide so I'm not giving them them key. So them start to wrestle, hang on from the car, and him draw the police and him drop and police for your shot. Man get hurt. The, how can you shoot a man when him steering? And him sit down in him car. Him sit down in him car and you shoot him. No man, this is going too far. That means anybody can sit down and police can shoot them. This makes no sense. Leave, go where they come from. Look what things are going on. Even the lady down there, so I'm just like a shop. Them go and tear out the rooftop and take them to pick them uniform and everything. And nobody now protest on that. But them come now and protest on taxi man like a taxi man, a murderer, a criminal. We don't like that man. We, 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 we disappoint in them. And the suit need to do something now. And the, and the government too, of Jamaica. Every time they come down to school, them come over here and a child like say, boy, I set me around when things are going on. The wrong man. Andrew, we are by you, man. However, according to the police, the team observed a grey Toyota Axio motor car driving along Stennett Street before it recklessly drove into Giant Family Mart's parking lot without using an indicator. A constable then went towards the car and signaled the driver to stop. The motorist reportedly disobeyed and hit the policeman with the vehicle. Another police who was close by intervened and requested the driver to stop the car and produce his driver's license and vehicle documents. Police say the driver grabbed the constable's upper left arm, pinning him to the vehicle and sped off with him. The constable made an alarm at which the driver began swerving into oncoming traffic. Police say the constable then pulled his firearm and discharged one round at the driver, hitting him in his right shoulder. The driver released the constable who then fell to the ground, hitting his head, resulting in wounds and bruises to his face, head and arm. Arms. The constable was also unconscious. He was taken to hospital, treated and admitted. It's understood the motorist drove himself to the hospital where he was also treated. Disgruntled about the shooting, residents and some taxi operators blocked the road to demand justice. They, they cannot come and ill treat people like that. To be innocent people. People could in the car when I'm shooting the car. Every time they come to back to school, them come over here like Port Maria police now do nothing. Them wrong. Port Maria police work hard. So why them come over here like say them now Port Maria police now do nothing. Them wrong man. Me feel upset. And the people that come back to the street again. Because we need justice. The Independent Commission of Investigations, Indicom, has since launched a probe into the matter. Meanwhile, a unit from the Jamaica Fire Brigade put out the blaze and cleared the roadway. Sandy Williams, TVJ News.